Welcome to Pythonic and today I will show you how to approximate any uh, data set with a polynomial function. We will do it with Python in NumPy. So for example, we have created uh, thousand dots in the range from 0 to 6 and now we will create our special function. This will be x equal y equal x when x is less than 1 and y is equal 1 over the x when x is bigger than 1. So I will calculate it with the help of mask. It's very easy to do this calculation. So let's uh, approximate this polynomial polynom function of power of 4. So we just use polyheat function and supply x and y as our dot set and mention the degree. And let's print it. And we will print it as a polynomial function. So it's a little bit of formatting to make it nice, not just coefficient. So I will do it as a join with pluses and uh, comprehension of this array of coefficient. It's not the best output. To make a best output, you need to do better presentation, but it looks nice. So our polynomial is power 4, and the first coefficient is minus 0 0.02, and etc. So, but let's calculate how good it is. So for this, we need to calculate root mean square deviation. So I will show you the equation of the RMSD. Okay, to do it, you need to calculate some y fitted according to polynomial function with polyval function from NumPy and check the difference between y fit and y real and square it and square root from the sum and it's 0 0.0744 for power 6 it's uh, 2 times less and for 2 it's much higher which means that higher the degree it's better the results but let's plot it to see how they look like. So let's plot it for initial degree of power 4. So I will create lean space with dots from x min to x max and we will put 100 dots to plot this graph and we'll calculate this value of our function, uh, fitted function on this range. And then just use matplotlib to do this plotting. So I will do a label and in this label I will show you uh, what it is, what's the power of our polynom, what else I need to do. Yes, let's do legend plot, uh, some error, 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 uh, what's this error, I need to specify axis and I will use second axis to show the coefficient on the graph. Uh, sometimes they look funny when not funny, but useful, useful for many of the coefficient. Okay, and let's plot our function. Okay, this is our function, and this approximation is powerful. Not the best one. So let's try to use... Ah, it's an error. No, it's powerful. It's quite not ideal, but it sketches the same shape of the function. So already at the polynomial 4, it looks kind of all right. But let's make it a little bit better. First of all, we will define our... Uh, function as a function, so now I write almost proper code. And let's calculate real values f with our function. And we will calculate it for our dots which we use for fitting and calculate RMSD as well. I will use the same equation. You can see it on the screen as well. This is traditional uh, way of calculation how big difference between real data and some artificial data or between two data sets. And we will plot it with points, three points after the dot. It's quite good. 0 0.071 looks nice. You see, uh, with power 7 it's even smaller. So power 10 is even better. So, but what's the highest power we should apply? This is an interesting question and I will try to answer it later on. But now let's plot the coefficient to see how they look like. So just uh, we will plot our coefficient but in reverse order to make it a little bit easier to understand. Because it's uh, coefficient are given from the big one to small one which is not very easy to understand sometimes. 
That's why I've reversed them. Let's see. Sometimes it's necessary to restart everything to make sure that everything works. So this is our coefficient, and you can see the coefficient of the highest power tends to be near to zero. Okay, two. Uh, it's pretty useless. One is even more useless, just straight line. But higher coefficient give better result. And now the question is what the highest coefficient is useful and where this should stop. Let's apply widget, matplotlib widget. And I need to include all the corresponding libraries to show it's in dynamic how this power affects the result. So for this I will recalculate for every single power from 1 to 100. So I will create array of RMSD, array of Y values and array of coefficient. And for each range I will uh, calculate this polynomial coefficient and add to our CF array. So this is my polynomial fit, fit polynomial, this is my function. I will do everything. Okay, this is polyfit. Then we calculate with this coefficient and our y values fitted according to our calculation and I just use this equation for RMSD. When you run, uh, write a little bit of code, you need to run it just to check that you do not make an error. And we've got an error. It's not import, it's from. And again, error, not widget, widgets. Uh, sometimes very complicated. Okay, ranking error. Polyfit might be poorly conditioned. It means that uh, power is too high and it's not very good fitting. Okay, but it's anyway, it's, uh, we can see it. Let's plot it now. So we will create plot, but we will fit it a little bit inside the figure with uh, 0.1 from each border except bottom, uh, just to make some widget there. So I will do space for widget. So I will create plot, and now I will plot the function, but I will uh, write this function later, and create slider. So slider will be at the bottom with this sizes, but for slider you, I've got already one interesting uh, story. I will give you a link in the video. And then this slider will show the power of the polynomial and will change from 1 to 100 with uh, initial value given and its step will be 1. Okay. And now we need to say what will happen on the change of the slider. And on the change of the slider we will update this value and uh, send it to update our value and our arrays with our lists, which is more correct, with all the value. And our function will be used to create the function for plot. So this is all AX scatter, etc. And this is the name of our function, polyn plot polynomial fit. And we will send all the parameters. Okay, and we need to clean our previous axis, the standard way of doing it, and then plot the same things with the given data. So basically for every new location of the this marker on the widget, it will just redraw the scatter with different uh, data. Yes, and the data is d, d, which is degree of the polynomial, this is most important. And we need to create this update function. So update, the most important is val and its extra values, which is just easier to pass, and it will just call this function with, it will set up our d2 uh, degree from the slider, and call this function, as simple as that. That's it. Nothing else, we can restart and see what happened. So it's take time to calculate, errors and error again. Uh, it's S again, I always forget about S. And looks how it's, it looks like. So you can move the slider and you can see that reasonably uh, big parameters or coefficient are only uh, exist up to something like up to 12 or 15. So the power up to 12 is good, below 12 is not good. And now let's uh, make our function even worse. So if y is bigger than, if x is bigger than 4, then y is equal uh, y multiplied by sine from x. Hmm, looks funny. Uh, let's see what's happened now. And we will calculate a bit wider range from 0 to 10 and 200 dots. Let's see how it looks like. 
so function have break, but it's optimized somehow, but when we move it, again, uh, only 15, first 15 coefficient uh, important, lowest coefficient important, now it's, it's quite good correspondence. And let's see what the RMSD, how it's related with the uh, number of coefficient. Again, some errors, it's not plot, it's not plot, it's a PLT. Okay, and you see how RMSD is reduced and Yes, it's dropped down up to 20 for this complicated function. So, there is no point to use polynomial with power higher than 20 for our case. That's it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and wait for new interesting video. And the link for the full article is in the description of this video. Thank you. Bye.